And so Jail has a new five song EP out, it's on Murder Records, and uh, they're going to be here playing the song for us, this is Double Edge. <laughs> the new drummer. Um, with Allison leaving the band, how has the dynamic changed with, with Mike drumming and the whole, uh, you know, relationship in, in jail? Um, it's um, a lot more solid, I think, that um, we're, uh, we feel pretty strong and good. I mean, it was sort of de uh, devastating at the time, mm -hmm. and, uh, but we made it through, and yeah. now it's moving along, and I think we feel pretty strong. And you had to, to uh, look at it from another perspective, or how did you, was it, were you close to packing it in? Because she was a pretty integral member of the band. I don't think we were ever actually going to pack it in, because mm -hmm. we're pretty dedicated to this, but um, it was awkward to have to, it's difficult, we still haven't really found a permanent drummer, so mm -hmm. we're waiting. Mm. It's hard to find the drummer, they all want to play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> So Even this one does. You have this kind of uh, 1950s Betty Crocker meets Nancy Drew meets cowgirl imagery, but there's a spin in that you're in a rock and roll band. Are you are you consciously messing around with traditional female images? Laura. Laura. <laughs> um, sometimes we are. I think it, it's it's not a. There's always sometimes there's a real irony to what we're doing, and uh, whether it's. Uh, to do with specific uh, stereotypes or not, it, sometimes it comes out, sometimes it's not. It's, it's just sort of messing around with, with different things, seeing what comes up. A lot of times we are. I think with our album artwork, that was kind of a, an ironic sort of gesture, and different things are. Yeah, and I heard that one of your best friends is going to be starring in the Nancy Drew new series. She's in the Hardy Boys, actually. Oh, the Hardy yeah. Boys. Boys. Joe's boss at the paper. Ah. Okay, and talking about the album art, Jennifer, you did this, right? Yeah. Now, this is the album. And I'm wondering what's the story behind the, the girls with the walkie-talkies? 
<laughs> they're, um, they're not, they're walkie-talkies, but they're actually for blowing bubbles. It's a bubble blower oh. thing. Uh-huh. Um, it's in Ireland. They were just two kids on the street. What, where were you where, when you took the photograph? Um, and was it an impromptu thing? It was Belfast. We were getting our hair trimmed <laughs> inside there. Uh-huh. And was this we a men's leaving. barber? Yeah. Yeah, we were with the last girl. I think Archie was having his hair done at the time. Mm -hmm. So these two gals with the bubbles appeared outside the door yeah. and you took a Just photograph of them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do they know that they're on the cover here? No, they don't. I should. I wish I could let them know. <laughs> uh, Eve, you directed Nebulous, the video, um, and you're going to be... Oh. <laughs> there. There. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. <laughs> I just pulled it there and speaking. <laughs> uh, you directed uh, Nebulous, and, and Laura, you're going to be directing the upcoming video. Yeah, I did. Is it important for you to... to uh, hey, we're right on. Work it off. <laughs> sure. I think like so. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. I, yeah, just sort of like that. That'll do. To be in control of, say, all aspects of your music and your covers and your videos, is this like a creative element or a, a creative aspect or more of a control aspect? I think it's both. I think we're both involved and involved in visual arts. Mm -hmm. So the idea of doing a video is just another chance to do um, a project, like another art project. So. Um, and we're all interested in film, so it's kind of perfect. And in a way, there's very, um, there's only very specific ways you can take control in in a band, you know. And they're all creative ways because everything else is sort of controlled by other people, mm -hmm. or your label or business or whatever. And so far, you've so not had problems. So you sort of take advantage of that and any chance you can get. You've been allowed your creativity on Sub Pop and Murder. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, Murder, they they give us a <laughs> hands on most of the time. <laughs> And we want bikinis. And, <laughs> and you're all you were you all came from art school, is that right? Yeah, that's where we met. Yeah. And are you are you able to? Is it a satisfying experience creatively to be in jail? Definitely. Yeah, it's different. It's a different kind of um, involvement, mostly because you work with other people all the time. Whereas everything, a lot of what we've done in the past in art school has been individual mm -hmm. projects, like painting, more painting a sculpture, photography. So this has kind of made us work together, mm -hmm. collaborate. Cooperation. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this is uh <laughs>